We got NBA action of Boston Celtics, the Denver Nuggets. Let's go. Ooh, Porzingis in there early with a dunk. Porzingis is fit perfectly with the Boston Celtics. And I knew them getting him would take them to the next level. And that was before they got Drew Holiday. So once they got Drew Holiday, it was just like, damn, bro. This is the team to beat. But this was a great game. The reigning champs coming to Boston's home court. Boston trying to keep their 20 win streak this season at home alive. And I think it even spans over the last season in which they didn't lose at home. This could be the finals this year. There's a chance. I think the West is going to be way harder, though. I think it might be a tougher path for the Nuggets. Like, let's say, and that's not going to happen this season again because of how the Timberwolves are doing. But let's say Denver sees, well, I was going to say, let's say they see each other in the first round. But let's just say Denver sees the Timberwolves in the playoffs. It's going to be a much tougher series, in my opinion. Minnesota has definitely found themselves. And I mean, when it comes down to the playoffs, it is about your star power. And Jokic and Murray are still a top three duo in the league right now. So there's that. But the Clippers, dangerous looking. Phoenix, my boy KD, if they get their team together. When I think about Boston's competition, it's not as... It's not as tough. But the thing about Eastern Conference ball is teams do play hard. We saw that happen with Miami last year. Being patient every night to figure it out. Okay, guys, so <laughs> I was talking and there was no audio just now. I literally just fixed it. So sorry if that was bugging you out. I know some of you guys don't even like hearing the commentary or like the, the audio from the highlights, but Personally, I like that. And I'm not starting over. I'm in too deep. <laughs> Damn, Tatum with a splash. Hey, Tatum has scored the last seven in a row for Boston. Got the blow by and got the bucket and one. Tatum was going crazy. There's the double by Holland. Mm. Murray got to the elbow and not to Tatum. Mar Murray with a smid race splash. <laughs> Damn. Dancing on the court right there. Wait, Murray getting in his bag right now. Oh, man. When Murray starts to heat up, he's dangerous. It's a good luck right there. Woo! What we got going? Oh! Big block! Yeah, that dude Watson, he, he does things. He does things on the court. Oh, man, they're quite... Mmm! Mmm! Yo! Wow! Oh! Oh, my God. Yo, this was a game. This was definitely a game. Jokic and Jamal Murray off glass. He's found his rhythm. He's got 14. With Zingas, Vanessa Lang. With an easy one inside. Tatum on the fly. Oh. Steps through. Oh, Porzingis with the follow-up. That was nice. Murray with the three at the other end. Not Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray tying Joker with 17. Murray okay. to the other end. Oh. 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 Joker Jelly Jamal. <laughs> what we got going now? Damn, Jelly Brown. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think on uh, what I was talking about before. Who do you think has the easier path regarding these two teams? At this point in time, I would say they're both the favorites to make it out their conference. And I think Boston has an easier path. Tell him proud, getting big. Sheesh. Oh, oh. 
Oh, damn. Big body bends. Tatum. Oh, my God. Tatum's body control is insane. around the screen. Murray with a nice lay at the rim. Make it a two point margin. Back to Jokic. A lot of these players' body control is very underrated. There's a lot of nuance to mechanics when it comes to playing basketball in terms of movement. And it's like we look, and maybe you're a casual fan that goes over your head, and maybe you're a diehard and you understand, but it's actually insane. Like it's not easy to to make these basketball moves. It's it's so many levels to this shit. Jokic with the shot. Come on, my feathery soft touch as Holiday gets ready to come into the ball game for Denver. Jokic, what a pass! What? Oh, he spun on a dime. How did he even make that pass? That was insane. Has Joker on. In traffic. Oh, oh my god. Right, Katie, fourth quarter underway. Tatum in the ball game. Cornet finishes inside. Murray got it to fall and one. In full disclosure, Doris. I know what you So if you made it this far, I hope that you guys have uh hit that like button, maybe hit that sub button. I'm gonna start doing reaction content. That's more like the series I've been doing in terms of best dunks of the day. Like, I might start doing best buckets of the week from top players like Tatum, Jokic, Jalen Brown, KD, LeBron, you know, things of that nature. Top 10 buckets of the week. Because I feel like people react to I feel like people react to A lot of games So I just want to get into something I kind of want to do something different Let me know what you guys think I'm just going to start doing it I'm going to start doing it tomorrow Brown trying to post up Murray Got him in jail Mmm Throw it into Joker. One on one against Horper. No double team. Porzingis with a little late help and too late. Jokic just one assist away from his league leading 13th triple double. Inside with the jump hook. Count it. And he is oh. furious. Jokic. Horford's being allowed to hold his jersey. And Porter Jr. with great activity got the Sheesh. push. MPJ with it. Rebound has been critical. He's got four of those on the night. Tatum with the ball. Oh. Oh. Oh my god! Out to Gordon for three. Oh, he sold that. He sold that. And Gordon sold that crazy. But this right there? I don't know how I feel about that play by Tatum. I really don't. Like great defense, but I don't know how I feel about that 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 layup right there. And I guess you live with that. And you definitely live with this shot. But tough. Tough. Denver takes a one on two, 100. Ends the Boston streak. Getting into the box, we got Jamal Murray leading the way for Denver with 35 points, eight rebounds, five assists. What a game. 15 to 21 from the floor, 71%. Three is seven from the three. Nice. Nikola Jokic with 34 of his own. Like I said, top three duo. Probably top two. Jokic 14 to 22 from the floor, 63%. 12 rebounds, nine assists. Wow. We have Michael Porter Jr. with the little 13 piece. This is the first time we didn't see a Brown highlight. I miss you, Brown. Celtic starters did their thing, man. Derek White leading the way in scoring with 24. Five assists to go with that. Two steals, three rebounds, 50% from the floor. Five and 12 from the three. Porzingis had 21 points, eight rebounds, six of 11 from the floor, three of five from the three. Maybe he should have took a couple more shots there. He's balling. Jason Tatum with 22. Didn't have the best shooting performance. 9 to 24, 37%. Jalen Brown as well, 6 to 19 for 31% from the field. 1 to 9. Both of them combined for 2 of 17 from 3. Jalen Brown with 13 points. And that's actually crazy to say because they only lost by 2. That shows you the potency of this Celtics team. Yo, let me know what you guys thought about the game in the comments below. Please do leave a like if you're here and a sub if you're new.